He then rose slightly from the park bench. <laughs> and took off. <laughs> time Jono it's time to do another episode how oh, do you feel already? about that yeah already that's why we only did one like two weeks ago two weeks is a long time <laughs> <laughs> two weeks is a long time when it's only been one week since people heard the last one. <laughs> oh shit yeah how are you i'm good mate how are you i'm all right i'm sleepy i'm full of mexican food um so i'm happy mainly good um we are gonna go straight into it let's do some talking uh, unless you have any follow back, follow back, follow up, one of those two, <laughs> either will do. Um, no, no, I don't. Okay, well, fuck you then. Uh, let's go straight in. I have a couple of topics today. Let's just make it clear to people: we are going back to our original roots of being around twenty-five to thirty minutes an episode, rather than forty, fifty an hour, like we've been recently. Two reasons: one, it's a lot to listen to, and two, it's a lot to edit. Um, <laughs> and we're both busy people, Can't so. Complain. Soz, deal with it. If you, you know, if you prefer an hour at a time. Yes, especially now I'm back at work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Before I was just like, Johnny, you couldn't edit this one as well, could you? I'm at work. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want an hour episode, yeah, yeah, just don't listen to one one week and the next week listen to two. Problem solved. Or um, just listen to it twice. Yeah. Yes, please do. Listen to everything <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> Every time a new one comes, listen to the ones previous to. So... <laughs> Episode two, you listen to episode one and two, <laughs> all the way through. I did that when um when I was watching Dexter, and every time a new season came out, I watched the ones before it again. So I've seen like season one eight times, but season eight once. Well, I mean, to be fair, you don't really want to see season eight more than once. No, that's true. Um, <laughs> all right, I have a couple of stories. You have a couple of stories. What have you got? Tell me. Um. Well, <laughs> they're uh, they're fairly quick. Um, I've got a chance for you to bash Apple again. Yes, perfect. Uh, and I've got a little story about uh, Michael Jackson's daughter. Ah, uh, Paris? Yes. Perfect. Okay, I have uh, two. One about a letting agent who was secretly living in the house of a tenant that he just like let a house to. <laughs> and another one that... I'm not going to tell you it because I want to read the new story to you because I'm laughing now as I read it. Let's just say a man in Austria was fined some money for doing a thing, but I'm not going to tell you what that thing is until we do that story. Okay. So what should we do? Uh, I'm going to read this headline about Paris Jackson first because... um, Please, please do. So I, I saw this earlier today and I it just kind of shocked me a little bit i i was speechless um so it says here is it that paris jackson and the director peter jackson are the same people no 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 that would that, be pretty shocking that would be more normal um <laughs> this wow. is that it says here the late king of pops 22 year old daughter has been cast as jesus christ in a new movie also starring bella thorne and gavin rossdale okay yeah that is weird yeah um Okay. So it's a film um, it's a film called Habit. Right. And uh there's a press release that says Habit will follow a street smart party girl with a Jesus fetish who gets mixed up in a violent drug deal and finds a possible way out by masquerading as a nun. That's uh, that's a lot to take in. Um, <laughs> and she plays Jesus Christ. Yep. Um okay. I don't really have much more on it than that, but <laughs> I think that's all you need. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like the uh, last episode or the episode before where I just went, I don't really have anything to say about it. I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um, I, right, first of all, props to whoever cast it for, you know, not sticking in the genders there. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, you know, Jesus Christ, just just a very skinny dude with long hair. Um, I've just offended a lot of religious people by saying Jesus Christ was just a skinny dude. He just had no gains and had never been to the barber. <laughs> I could fight Jesus. Um, <laughs> that's, the name, that's the name of the episode, isn't it? Oh, I could fight Jesus. God, right, this is the final right. episode. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think we're being played in churches regularly, bro. I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's like a pastor somewhere going, well, that's it. <laughs> Just <laughs> never again will Wait What be played in this church. <laughs> <laughs> and his entire service is just going, thank fuck. <laughs> he puts it on every time he can't think of what to say in service. <laughs> um, okay, I I want to watch that film with you. Yes, yeah, let's, uh, Let, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, um, I'm not going to waste any time. I am going to go straight in to... I'm going to leave the best droid or last. I'm going to go straight in. Uh, I read this news story. I had a quick flick through um but i i thought that i would just read it i quite like just reading it the first time when i read it to you right because it feels like i'm giving you exactly how i feel (laughs) and often the way that i feel at the exact first moment is much funnier than how i feel when i'm trying to think about how i should feel (laughs) so i'm gonna just read it to you it's right it's really distracting where my laptop is uh you know who quackzilla is um He he featured on the Instagram once. He uh he's just peering around my laptop, and every now and then, when I move out of the light, his face just gets half illuminated, and it <laughs> genuinely looks like he's about to kill me. That's right. Um, I, I've got Cuba peering out behind my laptop. So classic Cuba. Okay, I've moved him. Um, not being able to see him, somewhat worse. Okay, tenants freaked out to learn letting agent has secretly been living in their house. A tenant has shared a rather creepy tale, claiming that the letting agent secretly started living inside the house after coming over to do a random inspection. They claim the man... Nope, that's just... That's the same sentence. They've put the same sentence after. (laughs) Uh, I should learn to never read from the mirror. (laughs) A member of the house share in London has claimed that they discovered their letting agent has secretly been living in their house for two days. (laughs) The creepy story was shared on Reddit's Ask UK forum as they sought advice on how to handle the bizarre situation. I know I'd handle it. It would start with fuck and end in off. Um, and I'd probably have some form of weapon in my hand. <laughs> the unnamed tenant said that their letting agent had come over unannounced earlier this uh, in the week to inspect the property. They left him to get on with it and assumed he'd exited uh, a little while later. However, they soon discovered a light had been left on in their spare room and the door was locked. So they messaged asking the letting agent to return and switch it off as they didn't have a key. But this, and this the really is an italic, so we know it's really odd. But this is when things get really odd. The tenants claim to have received a letter from the man telling them he was still in the house. Oh, so re- please received a reply. Sorry. Oh. For some reason, I thought he said letter. And I was like, why? One, how is he getting out to send that? Or did he just pop it under the door? Um, <laughs> no, he posted it like two days earlier. And just <laughs> yeah, timed it really well. I am in the house. <laughs> but he's like dated the top. And they're like, what? <laughs> this is before he came round. So, I mean, ballsy reply. Just, lol, I'm still here. I imagine that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> lol, still here. The tenant, yeah. Um, the person wrote, I texted him asking to come around and turn the light off, and he admitted that he was here in the house. After we confronted him, he proceeded to lie and say he'd informed us that he was staying here for a couple of days. But none of us had any clue. Understandable. He said that he was planning on living here on a permanent basis and had signed a contract and paid deposit. Our landlord's our neighbours and they said that's not true (laughs) now at one point like i this story is less weird now than i thought it was because it's a shared apartment right so the letting agent could have moved in legitimately yeah what what i genuinely thought which i wish i could just write the news as i imagined it happened um I could just lie. We could just edit all this out and I'd be like, he fucking lived there. It was just a dude and his girlfriend. And then they were going to do a nursery in the room and bam, there was a man in the cupboard. Um, but no, like this is less weird because it's a shared house, you know, like he could have legitimately just moved in. Yeah. yeah. Um, they continued and said the landlord said that he should have uh, left and handed over his keys. Thankfully, he did. However, he locked the door to the spare room again, and we suspect that he has another set of keys. Oh, wow. Okay, it got weird again. Um, I got a ladder and looked through the window, and all of his stuff is still there. Stale, <laughs> uncovered croissants, clothes. Uh, clothes? Clothes. Oh, my God. I've got such a bunged up nose, I can't... Words. Uh, alcohol, grooming products, and there's something that looks disturbing... Oh, my God. I don't want to read this sentence out. And there's something that looks disturbingly like a fleshlight amongst everything. 
<sighs> Any kids listening, if you don't know what a flashlight is, Google it when your mum's around. <laughs> um, <laughs> that will teach your mum for letting you listen to random podcasts on the internet. Christmas is um, coming up. <laughs> mum, can I have one of these? Um, <laughs> for the people to like ask you, <laughs> ask to buy one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's tough dating these days, mum. Uh, <laughs> if only I had something that I could just use and then empty and put back in the cupboard. Isn't that what Tinder's for? <laughs> I'm like, you be putting it back in the cupboard. <laughs> um, I like how you asked that. And, you know, I'm going to clarify now that you've never been on it. No. <laughs> well, you won't have been on it, but you've never been on, on it as a like an actual profile. No. So, well, just play Innocence and imagine that that's exactly what you thought it was for. <laughs> it nearly is. <laughs> I had about a three-month stint, or maybe like a two-month stint, I think, in the entirety of my life. And it was hell. <laughs> Not saying I didn't do all right. What I'm telling you is it's more full of weird people. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I see like weirdos. screenshots in the, um, like the uh, joke Tinder Reddit pages and stuff. It's so weird. Anyway... As well as being concerned about having a rando creep in the house, the housemates also had an additional worry about potentially catching coronavirus from this stranger. We'd all been very careful and abiding by the government guidelines, and it scared everyone. Fair enough. I'd be pissed. Yep. Um, They wrapped up the post by saying that they called the council and the police non-emergency number and asked for advice and discovered the issue was more complex than they originally thought. So they turned to Reddit to see if anyone had any suggestions. I love that that's the order they went in. (laughs) If I... If I wanted general quick advice, maybe the internet would be first. Then I'd go council. Then I'd go police. (laughs) I wouldn't go, the council couldn't handle it. The police couldn't handle it. People that want to troll me online will. (laughs) Uh, The post went viral, uh, garnering thousands of upvotes and being even being shared on Twitter. Yes, the mirror. That's how the internet works. More than 300 people commented to share their thoughts. uh, But the only advice they could offer was to... Uh, this is why I'm saying that Reddit as your final hope is ridiculous. The only advice I could offer was to sell the film slash book rights to the scary story and become rich. <laughs> I mean, that is legit it... advice, to be fair. <laughs> I know. But, like, definitely not what they were looking for. <laughs> One person thought it should become a television show and shared a hilarious pitch writing, Coming soon to ITV, The Tenant. <laughs> Bradley Walsh stars as the tenant, a mystery man who deceives his way into the lives of three young house sharers. Bradley Walsh couldn't play that. He's too bloody lovable. We'd need like, uh, oh, what's his name? The the creepy dude from um, The Office that was also in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, uh, yeah, I know that who guy. you mean, but I don't know his name. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you do. Uh, oh my God, it's right in, it's in there. I can, oh, fuck. Mackenzie something, right? Yeah. Anyway. I'm, I'm going to Google it while I read this. Sorry. Uh, what is in the mysterious spare room? Does he have COVID-19? Are the events as random as they seem? Or does the tenant have an ulterior motive that would change the lives of the flatmates forever? This new six-part series from the creators of Rosie and Jim <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. contains nudity from the start. Also starring Jeanette Cranky, Dame Maggie Smith, and her, oh, what's it called from the other night? You know, she was on Thingy with What's-His-Face. <laughs> I like this. How it contains nudity from the start, as if Bradley Walsh just goes, oh, and he's got nothing on. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Um, surely you'd Mackenzie get... Crook. Mackenzie Crook, that's it, yeah. But surely you'd yeah. get uh, David Tennant to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Purely for the pun. Just the, and then in tiny, tiny, like, font, David Tennant. <laughs> But yeah, that's my new story. Wow. That went on on many tangents. I'm never going to point out that we've done a tangent because I feel like if we didn't go on off on a tangent, that would be us going on a tangent. Yeah. <gasps> Coming soon to t- ITV, The Tangent. <laughs> Stephen and Jono stand- star as The Tangents. <laughs> the mystery tangents that deceive their way into the lives of many listeners by posing as a podcast. <laughs> that's it. You've given it away now. Bam. What is in the mysterious podcast? <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Are the events as random as they seem? Yes. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, does the tangent have an ulterior motive? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just I've forgotten what I was going to say, so I just carry on. Bam, that's a story. Over to you, back in the studio, John T. <laughs> oh, right. 
Do you want to bash an apple then? Way, yeah. Okay, so um, fucking apple. Sorry, <laughs> it's coming up to, to that uh, that time of year again. September, new phones. Yeah, well, um, same phones. <laughs> new phones. <laughs> same phones. This year. Look at this one. What's it got? Literally nothing more, but it's slightly bigger. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we put another camera on there. What does it do? It's just another camera. Is it any better than the other camera? No, but it's another one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Have you seen um, you can get the little uh, back plates to glue onto a, an iPhone ten to make it look like an 11? So, yeah. Oh, that's such an <laughs> Apple user thing. This is one. This is my one problem with Apple. The one problem, right, is that it's not a phone manufacturer. It's like a it's like a high end clothes retailer. Do you know what I mean? You you're. It's like sometimes you will buy that brand of something. You know, you could you could go in a suit, and it would be a really cheap suit, and it would look okay, and then slightly better looking. You know, uh, you could get a slightly better looking suit that had. You know, an actual proper brand just emblazoned on the pocket on the inside. And if it was only like 30 or 40 quid more, you'd buy it. Because then when you were wearing that suit and you happened to go in the inside pocket, there was that label. And you could be like, look at that. And it's worth doing, right? Trust me, I'm that person. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just, I can't help it, okay? I like nice things. <laughs> and I spend money on them. But then that's what happens with Apple phones is that people buy them. Because all their friends have them, and then they don't know why they're buying them otherwise, you know? Now, there's a couple of people, a couple of groups of people that I will take out of that. You are in the group that I will take out of that. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> because, no, because you know what you're doing with tech. We both work in the information technology industry. This is true. Right? And also, a lot of the times, you're buying it for, like, I think one of three reasons. One, the camera. Yeah. Yeah, to size of screen. Mm. Yeah, and three because you're an Apple idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and three because oh, Craig just bought it. Actually, no, Craig's the other way around. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. But do you remember when it was, uh, I got the watch and uh, yep. Alan and Craig were both like, "Oh, they were you know falling over it for ages," and they're like, "Oh no, it's, it's not much of an upgrade from the three. And then and I got like it like one week later. Yeah, and they both <laughs> got it straight away. So like. This is the thing, like, I will get, we will get to your point in a second, but <laughs> the the thing that um, drives me insane is that, like, I if someone says to me, like, oh, iPhone is so much better, if, if I say why, and they can give me an answer, I'll accept it. But to this day, including conversations with you, I, no one has ever been able to tell me that iPhones specifically... That, and like, if they go, oh, they're better than Samsung's or something like that. Fair enough. Yeah, you might win that. But the argument is never that, is it? It's always Apple versus Android. Yeah. And like, that's a hard contest to win because you're. That's like saying, well, okay, at the moment on the market, you've got three versions of one brand new phone, yeah, and two or three versions of a slightly older phone that's still kind of new because it's basically the same phone, um, against like two new phones from every Android manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, normally you'll find that they're all kind of similar, but one or two have a slight upgrade on something. Yeah, I think in the early days, um, there was a bigger gap. But, I mean... Yeah, 100%. It was like the, it was like in the early days, there was, if you wanted to edit anything, you brought a Mac. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll I'll never deny that. Like in the early days, for for anything, for especially with GarageBand being around, like if you wanted oh, to edit yeah. any audio, or even you know, or if you're doing any photoshopping or any video editing or anything, it was a Mac. It was the only powerful thing that you could do. Yeah, that was why I got my first MacBook uh, for yeah. photo editing. Yeah, because you're a great photographer. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Except for that one time you came to my gig and photographed everyone other than me. I got photos of you, but the lighting wasn't great. <laughs> Sideline story for everyone. I asked Johnny to come down and take uh, photos of my last gig before coronavirus lockdown. And he sent me some great photos. <laughs> and, I, and they were great. They were brilliant photos. And everyone else in the band loved them because they were all in them. <laughs> <laughs> 
you could see half my face and my like right shoulder behind the front mat. Well, I put some effort into how I looked that night. I right? mean, and you you were standing on the opposite side to where you were the first time you played there, weren't you? Yeah. And then you were kind of like behind a pillar pi- and away yes. from the lights. I get why you but would you move could away have from the lights. Around. But <laughs> yeah, I moved away. Yeah, I moved away from the lights because they were like. It it was in a, basically in a cellar. Yeah, uh, it's called the cellar bar, and uh, it, I left with a very tanned forehead. <laughs> um, okay, right. What am I? What am I going to hate on Apple this time? All right. So, uh, the new phone will be out in September, as always. Um, mm-hmm. This year, though, they will not come with any earpods, headphones, owned, or yeah, and they yeah, won't or come charging him charger. They'll come with a mm-hmm. cable, but not a plug. Okay, now I'm not going to hate on the plug part. No, no, I get it. Now the really the only reason I say I get it is because if you are buying like a new iPhone, yep, you're either a younger person or an older person that actually ha- has tech. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you already have so many fucking plugs in the house. Yes, I don't think anyone is buying that phone and going oh how will i charge it yeah it, it's kind of like um what nintendo do with the the ds's because they don't come with power supplies anymore uh yeah they basically assume that you're a returning customer and you already have one um mm-hmm. so what it looks like is that they're gonna drop the uh the five watt and the 18 watt chargers that they have at the moment okay um and then if you want to if you do need to buy one you'll buy one of the new 20 watt adapters Perfect. um there's no price for that yet but currently it'll be high well currently the 18 watt ones are 29 pounds and the 30 oh, watt yeah. one is 49 pounds well you, the thing is like you won't do that though will you because what you'll do is you'll just get any fucking plug yeah basically but why, why if, if you were to add it on to your your shop at Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh then you're looking at about if you want the earpods, they're thirty quid for the lightning adapter ones. And yeah, a plug probably about thirty quid as well. So so the headphones for me is bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. Okay. Because like okay, yeah, don't get me wrong, a lot of people in the world already have their favourite kind of Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. That's fine. Like if I'm out running or walking or doing anything, I've got Bluetooth headphones. Yep. They're the ones that you had pre you getting your new ones. Yes, yeah. Um they're good headphones. But uh I think we I think we did a an unpaid shout out to them in an episode once. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. I wouldn't try. I'm pretty sure we did. We were like, Anchor, <laughs> hook us up. They still have not. Um We haven't got our Angel Astros. Delight yet either. No, we haven't. Um I really want some now. <laughs> Don't I'm really snacky like I've got the post dinner snacks. Yeah, I, I yeah, the headphones is bullshit. That one, the reason I say that's bullshit is because not everyone in the world wants Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. And if you're low like, if if the price of the phone you're buying shows the reflection of that cost being taken out, then it's less bullshit. Well, that's the thing because it sounds like they're dropping the accessories because uh the 5G capability is going to push the price up a bit. So it's probably going to be around the exact same. About price. the same anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um. So fucking retarded. The re- like, I think as I say, like, I it would have been fine if, okay, you're you've got to buy the headphones for thirty pounds if you want them, but you know if you don't want them, you save twenty quid on the phone. Yeah. You know, and like we're not going to put a, like the actual plug in there. That will save you a tenner. Okay, we've taken thirty quid off the price of the phone. It's not a lot. But it's money, you know, yeah. and like if you're if you're doing on a contract like a lot of people do, yep, that thirty quid is probably one of your months, you know. Yeah, yeah, basically. If yeah. well, it's probably half of one of your months if you're getting an iPhone. Well, yeah, <laughs> if you're getting a brand new one, then yeah, probably about half. But I don't think I'll ever do a contract again. Just side note. No, no, it works out a lot cheaper to, to do yeah. a sim only deal, and and if you can get it up front from somewhere, yeah. I get, uh, I think, yeah, I get forty gig a month and unlimited calls and texts for twenty five pounds. I get unlimited everything for twenty, I think. Yeah, is that the? Are you still with what was three? 
Uh, yeah, still a three. Yeah. It. Yeah. I'm um I'm with the E, but that's mainly because all around me are familiar faces. Um, no, that's a good song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. I can't help it. All around me is uh just the reception around me is just a lot better with the E. Yeah, I get basically no signal around your house. Yeah. Basically, like, all of the town in which I live seems to be good for EE. And, you know, everywhere I go, I always take the weather with me. Um, <laughs> just going to keep saying song lyrics. Oh. Uh, EE's never let me down, basically. It always have, uh, seems to have a pretty good coverage. Yeah, they just uh, they let me down on a different side of things, but we won't go into that. Yeah, the only reason I'm <laughs> with them is because Vodafone, who I think we can both agree oh, are God. the shittest. Awful. Um, if anyone's uh, affected by being with Vodafone, um, you know there are numbers you can call to get through the depression of having to be with Vodafone. Yeah, you won't have any um, signal to call them, though. Yeah, that's true. That's the worst part about it. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I just can't get to the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you're with them, leave. Everything is better. <laughs> um, I still love the fact that the way I left was just going in. I literally asked them, I broke my phone. Can I pay off the rest of my contract here? No, you can't. You have to do it online. Okay, can I phone someone? Yes, you can. Great. Can you give me a phone? Yes. Good, because we're in a phone store. He said no. <laughs> um, and then I said to the guy, right, okay, I've paid off the rest of my thing. Can I upgrade here? And he's like, oh, well, now we've got to wait for that to clear here before I can do it. And I was like, do you know what I haven't got to wait for? They're like, what? It's <laughs> just like, I've paid it off. Hang on, phone the guy back. Hello, it's me again. You can see I paid my stuff off. Yeah, all right. Give me my number. And then they give you the little number. And then I, I can't remember what it's called. And then... Yeah, pack code. The pack code, yeah. And then I walked straight out and the shop directly across from Vodafone is EE. <laughs> and I walked in and I went, hello, mate. You know what that is, don't you? And he went, I do. Come to the till. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I looked out and the guy who just served me was looking at me getting served a new phone. <laughs> that was a beautiful moment in my life. And now I don't have that phone either. I'm thinking about buying a new one. Oh, really? Yeah, I do love my phone. I have a Huawei, as you know, but for other people. Who are um, we? <laughs> Who are we? Um, Hawaii. I've also called, heard it called the Hawaii. <laughs> but it, I keep getting torn because I think I just want it because I like buying things. <laughs> yeah. Because the camera, great. Yeah, or the cameras, mm, great. Yeah. You know, the fucking front-facing camera is 20 meg. Yeah, yeah. Like... I'm not going to complain. People deserve to see my lovely face in better quality. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The screen's amazing. It's a good size. It runs fast. And I have an awesome case for it. Yes, you do. But now I'm kind of tempted to buy a new phone. And if I buy a new phone, I might just make this phone uh, just for social media. Yeah, why not? Because I have to turn off my Twitter. So I can't use my personal one because otherwise I get so many notifications. This is not (laughs) a humble brag. From... Wait, what? Uh, Twitter and Instagram actually. If I'm not, if I'm still signed into it, my phone goes off quite a bit. Yeah, I've <laughs> so I have to like turned off. I have to swap over to my own one, and then I don't get the notifications. That's <laughs> right. I have three. I've got the band Instagram on there as well. So when I post stuff on there and my own and bloody wait, what at the same time? Jeez, just turn my phone off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going on too many tangents. We said we were going to keep this short, and now I've got a story left, and uh, we're at the thirty minute mark. <laughs> um. <laughs> We can do this. Okay, is that all you wanted to say about uh, shoddy Apple? Shapple, if you will. <laughs> Pretty much. Sweet. Here we go. Man in Austria fined £450 for loudly farting in front of police. <laughs> 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 I love that every week I have a story like this for you. Oh. Police in Vienna uh, def- defended the decision to find the man who they say had acted provocatively and had been uncooperative during a previous incident... <laughs> The next sentence <laughs> is you can't see what I'm about to read. The fart seemingly being the final straw. <laughs> <laughs> the man had been fined uh, 500 euros, 447 pounds, for farting in front of the police officers. The man said, I. <laughs> He, uh, the man was told he had violated public decency. <laughs> by, oh my god, the fucking sentence. By loudly escaping an intestinal wind <laughs> in, in front of police officers by a criminal order in the Austri- uh, Austrian capital of Vienna. Oh, 
again, I didn't, I again didn't read this because, as I say, it's more fun to read it to you. <laughs> then we both get to enjoy it together. Uh, the smelly incident. This is also from the mirror. You can tell they're really <laughs> top class writing, can't you? <laughs> the, the smelly incident took place on June the fifth at forty minutes past midnight. Uh, I think OE24, which I imagine is the Austrian uh, news website, reports. Uh, it's reported that the man involved in the incident posted a speeding ticket on Reddit before police confirmed the incident. What? How fucking far did he fart? <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Lie off for 50? <laughs> what? It was reported that the person involved in the incident posted a speeding ticket on Reddit before the police confirmed the incident to the local media. What? What? Okay, so right, either either the fart was too fast, right? <laughs> Which, Lord, I hope is what happened. <laughs> um, that is power. Um, or he got a speeding ticket, and then while they were having a go at him, he went well, <laughs> <laughs> and then he shot off a fifty mile hour and got another speeding ticket. Um, the criminal order reportedly describes a loud gut wing. Gut wing? Gut wind, which <laughs> violated decency and noise. <laughs> On Twitter, the local police force wrote that the man was provocative and uncooperative uh, throughout the previous official act, which I imagine is the speeding ticket. God, I wish he'd just farted really fast. Uh, he then... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is full of incredible sentences. <laughs> he then rose slightly from the park bench. <laughs> <laughs> Took off. <laughs> <laughs> And he was never seen again. <laughs> He'll never pay that fine because he's on the moon now. <laughs> um, that's who we saw on those Mars images <laughs> from last episode. That's why the Curiosity rover is going the other way. Yeah. <laughs> that stinky bastard. <laughs> oh, the actual sentence is weirder than if it just <laughs> taken off. Oh, he then rose slightly from the park bench looked at the officers and apparently intentionally released a massive bowel wind in the immediate vicinity of the officers. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It hurts to read it. <sighs> the local police force <laughs> stressed farting alone would not normally result in a fine. <laughs> the man will be able to appeal for fine. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't fucking shit himself in court. <laughs> I go, do you know why you're here, sir? And he goes, yes, I was uh, sitting on a bench. And I went, (laughs) (laughs) and uh, sorry, I've done it again. (laughs) Um, Earlier this year, the, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, now, now it goes off onto a different moment, which I did read and was hilarious. So I'm going to read it earlier this year. The incredible journalists at the Mirror reported how a wedding planner was left sponging down a sobbing naked bride. I, if the I've got to say this: if the wedding planner was a straight dude, <laughs> that's even weirder. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, do you know where my wife is? Yes, uh, Jeffrey's in the other room sponging her down. <laughs> Why? Why? What's happened? She shit herself. Uh, after a last minute plan to fix them. Uh, wow. They've used last minute. Literally three, four words apart. After a last minute plan to fix some last minute belly bloating <laughs> went catastrophically wrong. What should have been the happiest day of her life was completely ruined because well, she spent the day knocking back detox shakes and <laughs> resulted in a disaster when she gambled on a fart <laughs> and lost in a big way. <laughs> what I love is that two things. One, you know, we're both past 25, and this is still hilarious to us. Never change. But two, that was in quotation marks. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that the bride, when being asked what happened, went, well, I gambled on a fart, and I lost in a bloody big way. <laughs> <laughs> she ended up ruining her £12,000 dress. Oh. But refused to let that stop her. God, I hope she changed. <laughs> uh, before uh, From having a first dance with her husband in front of her nearest and dearest. I don't think they were that near. <laughs> a slightly far away and dearest. Oh, yeah. And then it talks about another thing. You know, when that guy got caught because he farted in a bush. Oh, we covered yeah. that story. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But, yeah, that might have been the hardest news story that I've ever had to read out on wow. this podcast. 
Um, I also, while reading it, knew which part of that was going to be the very first part of this um, podcast. It was going to be me reading the line. He then slightly rose from the park bench. And then I was going to say, looked at the officers, and apparently intentionally re- released a massive bow wind in the immediate vicinity of the office. You'd, you'd laugh, I'd laugh, roll the intro. But <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going to be now is me saying he then slightly rose <laughs> from the park bench and then laughing, you go, what, and took off. <laughs> roll the intro. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a great story, right? Incredible. It's fucking great. Um, all right. Let's, let's, just, let's just fucking wrap it up. <laughs> it's like quarter to ten. I want to go for a walk. Um, I'm very full and I'm scared that I'm going to get a fine in a minute, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, this has been marvellous. This is episode 11. Uh, this is one more than we'd normally do. There's going to be another one more, isn't there? Oh, I suppose. It's going to be a 12. Yeah. And then and then we will wrap up the season two. Maybe. Because uh, we've got some plans in motion for season three, if we do them. Um, I said all of that sentence like Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> the gaps were in the wrong place. We've got some, we've got some plans for season three. If we do them, <laughs> just all the all the fucking pauses, whether they shouldn't have been. If you can go outside, don't go outside. <laughs> if you can work from home, go to work. Don't go to work. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll do something or other. So, yeah, uh, we've got stuff for season three that we want to do, like the fact that season three will in season three at some point will be our one year of wait what? You'll have a little party. We, we will. Hopefully, we're not in a complete lockdown and we could do the podcast face to face, having a few beers. Like the good old days. That would be great, wouldn't it? That would be fun. Should we try and do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the one with all the bad audio quality again because it's too much trying to pick up everyone. <laughs> we'll just um, record it on your work iPhone again. Oh my God. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Um, all right. Well, thanks for recording with me again today. Um, for the what is this episode 11 so 10 20 21 20 second time <laughs> oh, quick maths <laughs> bam did a think um this is when someone on twitter corrects me <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right this one's not gonna go out for like three weeks so i got time to figure out my problem <laughs> and i won't um okay thanks for speaking doing your words um i will speak to you again very soon and everyone else will hear from you uh, in a week's time. Perfect. Tatty bye. Bye. TTFN. <laughs>